everyone, Miss Madeline here. I'm going to be implementing the new character dance classes into Rye Ballet Conservatory's curriculum this year, and I just wanted to take a moment to give you a little bit of insight about the classes, and also give you a little bit of information about what character dance is and why it's important. You might be wondering what character dance even is, but before answering that, it's important to understand two other genres of dance, ballet and folk dance. First, it's important to understand what ballet is. Considering you're all a part of the RBC family, it's assumed that you're pretty well versed in the ballet style, but here's a concrete definition. Ballet can be described as a classical dance form demanding grace and precision and employing formalized steps and gestures set in intricate flowing patterns to create expression through movement. Next, it's important to identify that there are many methods of ballet, including Balanchine, Vaganova, Cicchetti, or ABT. Ballet can also take a classical or contemporary form. Let's also identify some visual examples of ballet, which largely take the form of performances, anything from Nutcracker to Sleeping Beauty to Serenade to the Rite of Spring. Now let's do the same with folk dance. Probably a lesser known genre of dance, folk dance can be defined as a social or historical dance developed to reflect the traditions or customs of a certain region or group of people. Like ballet, folk dance also comes in the form of many styles from many different regions of the world, including, but not limited to, Russian, Hungarian, Ukrainian, Greek, Irish, American, Polish, Italian, Korean, Czechoslovakian, Spanish, and Mexican. Are you able to identify any specific dances or routines native to the U.S.? Believe it or not, dances like the Cotton Eye Joe can be considered American folk dance, among others, like the Russian Sailor Dance from Russia or the Polka from Poland and the Czech Republic. So now that we have a better understanding of ballet and folk dance as unique dance forms, we can answer the question, what is character dance? Character dance can be defined as folk dance adapted and designed for a ballet stage or environment. In other words, character dance is a fusion of classical ballet and folk dance. What are some examples of character dance that you can think of? In Swan Lake, you have many. The Hungarian Chardash, the Mazurka, the Neapolitan Dance, and the Spanish Dance, all in Act 3. In Coppelia, there's the Mazurka Village Dance in Act 1. In Raimonda, you have the Hungarian Dance, also in Act 1. And in the Nutcracker, you have the Russian Dance in Act 2. In order to fully understand the root of character dance, I always like to list the unique qualities and characteristics of ballet and folk dance, and then separately list the similarities. That list of similarities then turns into the defining characteristics of character dance. Ballet is choreographed and performed for a proscenium stage. It's structured with trained dancers taught in classrooms with a codified technique that can be read and learned in archival knowledge. Ballet requires specifically point shoes and technique shoes. Ballet is rarely improvised and has the potential to become someone's profession if the dancer so desires. Folk dance is most frequently performed at weddings, fairs, streets, or other informal social gatherings. There are very few classically trained folk dancers, and there is much less, if any, archived knowledge and codified technique. The movements are much more intrinsic and the knowledge is mainly embodied, meaning that the dancing is more often passed down through muscle memory. Folk dance often incorporates improvisation, but rarely becomes someone's profession. Lastly, folk dance doesn't always require specific shoes. Boots or everyday shoes, depending on the region, are what is typically worn. Now let's compare the similarities between ballet and folk dance, also known as the character dance list. It reflects and respects tradition and history, just like both ballet and folk. It requires in-studio training like ballet and embodied practice like folk dance. It's structured on a unique set of codified technique that pulls from ballet and folk movements and positions. However, there's very little written documentation about pedagogical methodology or repertoire. Character is designed for a proscenium stage to be incorporated into story ballets and requires unique short-heeled shoes. Hopefully all that information can give you a better idea about what character dance really is. It's also important to learn what it is not. There is a common myth or misconception about character dance, stating that it's not relevant anymore and that it's old-fashioned and has no benefit to ballet or general dance knowledge. In reality, character dance is actually just as relevant, if not more relevant today than it was decades ago, and it has many benefits for dancers. 
character provides supplemental kinesthetic understandings of Apolma and Portabra. It also provides opposition movements to strengthen the lesser used muscles for ballet technique, using internal rotation and the flexing of your hands and feet. Character also offers unique music to broaden students' rhythmical vocabulary and therefore musicality as a dancer. Lastly, character provides access to learning about different cultures around the world, insight into history, customs, and the similarities or differences between unique regions of the globe. It's a great way to begin to learn and understand cultural appreciation versus cultural appropriation. So, what can you expect this coming year in your character classes at RBC? You will always be expected to enter the studio already wearing your black character skirt and black character shoes in your class leotard and tights. Just like ballet class, we do start at the bar and work our way to the center and across the floor. Unlike ballet class though, we will spend a little more time talking and debriefing on styles and technique, regions, music, etc. Since character dance has its own technique, there will be lots of new things to learn. We will also get lots of opportunities to watch videos. There will be two elements to character classes, technique and repertoire. We'll begin spending time learning rep once a foundational technique has been successfully implemented and understood. Repertoire will reflect the regional technique that we're learning at the time. The school year will be broken down into four to five units, each studying a different region and style of character dance. Unit one, Russia, unit two, Hungary, unit three, Poland, unit four, Italy, and potentially unit five, Spain. Each unit will include three special days, a history day where we learn about the history of the regional dance, people, and country, including cultural history and information, a music day where we learn about the typical styles of music and rhythms utilized for the regional dances, and a movie day where we will watch examples of the style we are learning at the time. The last thing I want to talk about is a few things to prepare for. First, we'll be learning lots of new things. Sometimes learning new things can be frustrating or challenging, but it's always a wonderful thing to learn something new. Second, I encourage you to ask questions. Be open to asking questions if you're confused or if you want to learn about something that I haven't discussed. Being curious and inquisitive is always a great quality to have. Third, it'll be important to be patient. As we're learning some brand new methods, theories, and techniques, it might require going slower than your ballet classes. Remember that you have been doing ballet a lot longer than you've been doing character, and new things take patience, time, and focus. Lastly, have fun! This is an opportunity to do something other than ballet and use your body in a unique way. Embrace the unknown and take this chance to dance in a different way. It can and will be exciting. I hope that gave you a little bit of insight and information about what character dance is, how it's important, and what to expect this year. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. I'm really excited to meet everyone and I'm looking forward to the school year.